You'll notice that the riders choose to uh, use predominantly double disc wheels on these bikes to be as aerodynamic as they possibly can. One little change in the speed events is you'll notice no overshoes being worn on these riders' shoes now. They are now against the rules. Overshoes really are all about being used for the uh, more inclement weather. But riders had started to use them on the track for aerodynamics, covering the shoes, uh, the straps on them by some fast, uh, slick lycra, now no longer allowed. This is the Russian rider, Andrei Kubev, second rider to go. Straight out of the blocks, leaning right back. He's getting a great reception from this uh, Belarusian crowd. Underneath the saddle, you can see that little box, which is the power meter. The coach will be able to use the data after this World Championships to get an idea of how this rider's performing. He's being urged on by the crowd. Outside the time of Nita, 19.166, so slightly slower. Looked like he went uh, blasting out of the blocks there, but let's see whether this speed can carry him in the second half of this kilometre. 33.145 is the opening 500 metres, down on the time of the Japanese rider. Let's see whether he's on a slightly bigger gear and starts to accelerate before the finish. Just about half a second down on the Japanese. Pulling himself right forward in the saddle, on the aero bars, rocking and rolling a little bit, certainly hurting. Time to beat 102.934, doesn't do it. 103.438, and an average speed of just a little under 57 kilometers an hour.